That guy can be second guessing. You're not gonna disbelieve. I am gonna believe in you guys. We're gonna build. We're gonna do it. Right, let's make it happen. Day one. Break it down. Somebody take charge. <laughs> Okanagan Sun welcomed the 2010 football season nice and early this year with the January indoor workout. This is the first opportunity for second year head coach Pete McCall to have a look at his potential roster for the upcoming season. Lots of fresh faces were mixed among some of the oh so familiar faces on Sunday. Almost all of last year's coaching staff were out coaching the 50 plus player turnout including lots of returning veteran players helping coach up the new recruits. All the vets are great, you know, they, they know my spiel, they know what we're up to here, so they, they're great leaders on the field doing what, what I'm asking, and uh, boy, there's a whole bunch of young guys here today too, so that was good to see. Uh, yeah, you know, we got, we got a bunch of vets out, um, you know, a lot of my rookies, of course, and the vets, we lost a lot, of, uh, a lot of strong impact players this year, but, you know, there's a lot of good promising athletes out there. Uh, there was a lot of bodies here today, which is really good to see. Uh, you know, whether guys stick with their team or not, that's always going to push your team and, and make us get better. So it's always good to see the young guys get out here early. That way, you know, they can get the system, they can they can learn the fundamentals and and, uh, and start becoming better players. Even though it was the first throw around for the squad, intensity during the workout stayed high from the opening warm up to the final cadence of conditioning. Coaches and players alike appreciated the time on the turf to shake off some off-season rust and work towards getting back to season form. Coach McCall and company are known to run a tight practice, so it was no surprise that not a moment was wasted in the two-hour practice. For day one, everybody's excited, and uh, you know it's been a couple months since we've got after it, so yeah, it was a mission accomplished for day one. I thought it was going pretty well today. It's definitely good to see a lot of old faces and and get out there and run around a little bit and, uh, and just test the legs and see how it feels. I try not to look too far down the road. I'm looking forward to next week and uh, just take it day by day here. And uh, it's a long road, you know, it's about 300 days until the cup there. So we're just uh, trying to get better every day and uh, you know, keep on working at what we're doing. The motto for today was, uh, was just today and that'll be the motto every day. Uh, just go in and, and do the work that we need to do and, and get out of there. But um, in terms of our work ethic and uh, you know how hard we work, just because it's early, we're not going to you know, not work hard. We're going to start uh, busting our asses really early. The Sun graduated over a dozen players last season, which consisted of over eight starters, including all-Canadian safety Paul Spencer. But the Orange and Brown looked to return the bulk of last year's roster, who were more than competent to restock the depth chart. Defensive back Dalen Palmier is just one of the players who are going to be looked at to fill some big shoes this season and lead the 2010 defense. We had a chance to catch up with Dalen and get his thoughts on this upcoming season. Dalen Palmier, number 15 for the Okanagan Sun. Uh, Dalen, how did the first day of indoor training go? Um, indoor training went good. Uh, I feel uh, it was knocking off some rust. I think everyone was. It was uh, a good time, though, for us to get in there. It's nice getting back around the team, and I think uh, everything is going to be good. Bobby Davis was looking good. All the guys are looking good. It's, uh, it's fun to get back out there. How was it, the intensity of practice? Coach McCall always runs an intense practice. How was it for the first day? Was it as normal as usual? Um, no, not, not definitely as intense. I mean, people it took it easy on us. You know, when we just off to Christmas, and we all were probably, you know, not in the greatest shape. So, I mean, it was always intense. It was a Pete McCall practice. But uh, we did some plyos, and we did some conditioning at the end. But he definitely took it easy. And the week to come is definitely going to get a little bit more intense for sure. What was the overall taste in your mouth once you left practice there? Did you feel like it was a good start to the year? Um, I mean, the numbers were okay, but it, there's definitely some some key guys, some returnees who can be out. I don't know. They probably had some other tie-ups, but for most of it, it was pretty good. The turnout was good, and I know next week we're just probably going to get more guys. And, I, you know, you can't expect much from the first practice in a couple months, but it was, for the most part, it went pretty good. I know we got a couple big names coming back in Matt Sherwater and Dan Turk. Uh, who else do you look towards this year having a big season? Um, well, I'd like, I like to see uh, Charles Henderson back. I think he's going to be a pretty badass linebacker this year. And uh, I think, uh, well, Max Carano is out there, but it's nice to see him. I'm hoping he comes back. And uh, Wyatt Smith, he was uh, moving up there, but he should uh, definitely come back. But I'm excited to see how Bobby Davis, he was there today, but... That's the point. I think he's going to play pretty good this year. He's definitely bringing a different uh, dynamic to the position, I guess you could say. He's uh, a lot different from Derek Mann. He opens, uh, I think he's going to be able to run the ball a lot. Looking pretty, pretty excited. 
If you're interested in playing for the Okanagan Sun, indoor training and throw arounds will continue at the Capital News Center almost every Sunday. Yeah, so to anybody who would like to come play for us, so, uh, or you know, play for us even in the future, younger guys developing, we'd like to see them out too. So we'll be out here again next week at uh, 2.45, and that's a Sunday routine for us for the next uh, couple months anyways, except for maybe Super Bowl weekend. So it's uh, 2.45 to 5 o'clock, and uh, yeah, bring your cleats and, uh, and your hands and your skills and come out and have some fun. For more information and player updates on the Okanagan Sun, check out okanagansun.ca. Reporting for Sun TV, I'm Andy Holmes.